Hi, so today I'm gonna teach you how to configure your Aweber integration. And first, we need to go with our integrations. Integrations. So as you can see, I already have the Aweber. So I'm just gonna um, like delete this one, firm, and add again another. It's again an Aweber. Um, Weber Eats. So I am using a uh, Chrome browser. So it you can see this is Weber Eats, and please click here to authorize your account. So click here. So it will lead me to a Weber Communications. This is the Alt Zero. So allow access. Just click the allow access. And it will load you here again. So let's go just go back here. And here, as you can see here, we already have this, but we go just there. And once we go here, just click here, my integrations. And just add again the Aweber. And your Aweber. Aweber leads so as you can see here it's not updating we we'll just proceed with this one and just hit update and we will have our leads right so here let's just close this and um just reload this one And let's go with the integrations. And you see here we have the Aweber. So that's how you set the Aweber integrations. And then let's go here. So let's create a form. Let's go with the elements. Go with the empty form. Here. Just below. And then enter an input field just inside. And just a submit button. Make sure that it's connected to your form, to your form container. Make sure that your button and your um, input field is connected to your form container. All right. So I'm just gonna hide this menu. All right. So what I'm gonna be doing is go with this button. I'm just gonna drag it down so it will be on the lower part. And I'm just gonna duplicate this input to so this will be going to be the name and this will going to be the email so with the second input field i'm just going to go with the spacing make a spacing between the two so it will just be separated there you go and with the button i'm just going to go with spacing oops it's not spacing but the size and go with uh, relative to parent and put a hundred percent so this will be the same and with regards to the spacing inside, let's put here a padding. Let's just take one rem or the 75 here. And then the text would be um, bigger and it's bold here. Here. So you can just configure that submit button on what uh, text you want. So, like, say sign up. Just like that. And just hit update. Right, so you have the sign up button, and you need to configure this input field. Go with the configure, this should be the name, name, also name. This will get me your name, and you can just add validation rules. This, what will this be doing is when you click the sign up, if this input field is empty, it will not. Uh, process your button to another page or another link because it's empty so we need to set that one so this is a text and just hit update and you will have your name so next one is the email I'm gonna put email on the input ID also email here and the placeholder is your best email or something you would like put here to add validation rules 
this is an email so let's select the email and cannot be emptied just hit update all right so we have set our two input fields with the first the name and the email so we need to click uh, between uh, we should select this border here just click this one that says the form container because this will be the manager who will set up your information here to your Aweber so let's go with int this is integration and select on uh, Aweber leads and then the list here which is this is my list and you can just select thank you redirect link this will be either a page or a URL whatever you like but I will just select a page because I have a page and just a thank you page just like that and hit update all right so I think I'm much pretty set with my integration yes so I'm just gonna hit save yeah it's save here content save and then I'm gonna go with publish I'm gonna publish my site so if you made a changes with your website you need to publish it to update the to update your uh, site right so content save changes usually go live within few minutes but take longer so let's just go with our site so here as you can see there is no form here yet so this is what we need to like a reload so yes as you can see we already have our fields here this is a Weber integration so let's go with our a Weber as you can see I already have five here so I just gonna go with my lead here and I'm just gonna click sign up but it's not uh, moving along because this is required as we said so let's just put Ira Lopez and Ira Lopez just let's try this one All right because it's not here as you can see let's go here and sign up subscribing subscribe yes and it proceed us to our thank you page so this is my thank you page and let's just check here if we already put the information and yes it's it's dated because you can see there's a name and there's an email here And they need to confirm it to subscribe on your list.